Please pause for the moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good morning, Bobcats. I'm Ben Taro. And I'm Aiden Percher. Welcome back to Bobcat TV. Welcome back from our four-day break. School calendar changes for this year coming up. As well as your sports update. Stay tuned for these stories and more. Bobcat, Bobcat TV, TV starts, starts now. now. Because of the use of two snow days combined with a two-day shutdown caused by a staffing shortage from COVID, the 2021 through 2022 calendar will change. The first change is the early release day scheduled for Friday, March 11th and Thursday, May 26th, which will turn into full days. These days are the days before spring break and the last day of school. The three options for the second change are as follows. Option one, adding seven minutes to each school day beginning on Monday, February 14th until the end of school. Option two, go to school on Monday, February 21st, which has been slated as a school holiday. And option three, go to school on Monday, May 27th. The district will seek community input and will update you on the changes when we get the update. Senior court orders and payments are being accepted through Friday, February 11th. Each court is $10. To get the forms, go to the front office and ask for one. See Ms. Miller in the front office to submit your order or if you have any questions. February is a very busy month with many events. The student council officers would like to take a few moments to talk about the big event and kindness month. On April 2nd, we'll have a big event called The Big Event. Now, The Big Event is essentially just a community service day where students from all four of the high schools around NISD can come together and work on projects throughout all our communities. Um, we'll have a variety of projects. It's going to be a really good time. Information for staff, parent, and student volunteering. Uh, Sign-ups will be posted around school and on community sites and our student council Instagram and Twitter. This month is also Kindness Month, so make sure to check the challenges posted on the window outside the Student Union, and also just be kind overall. The class of 2024 would also like to give a quick announcement about the Crush Drive. Here's more. Hey Bobcats, it's Grace Glowitter here, and I'm the class of 2024 historian. And I'm Georgia Seip, and I'm the class of 2024 vice president. And we just wanted to come on here and remind y'all that starting February 7th, we will start selling our soda crush cans in the cafeteria at a table right outside the school store. The soda crush cans are going to be sold for $2. Make sure to get a soda for that special someone. Make it a great day, Bobcats. Bye. Bye. The three-point shootout will be, on, will be on today and tomorrow. Students must go to their advisory and check in before heading to the South Gym. A lot has been happening in sports. Here's Keely Kearns with your recap. Good morning, Bobcats. I'm Keely Kearns here with this week's sports update. Congrats to the Bobcat wrestling team for placing first and second in the 2 through 6A district meet last Saturday. You guys will also be competing at the re regional meet this Thursday and Friday at Thomas Coliseum. The girls and boys varsity basketball teams played against Keller on Saturday, but both fell short to winning. Tonight, they are playing at Keller Central with games at 4.30, 5.45, and 7 o'clock. Girls and boys varsity soccer teams played Fossil Ridge yesterday and have their next game on Friday. Softball plays at Mansfield Lake Ridge today, and baseball plays Flower Mound Marcus at home. Our tennis team is hosting a tournament at Byron today. If you see them before they play, make sure to wish them good luck. And boys and girls golf are playing in a tournament hosted by Byron at the Trophy Club Country Club. Good luck to all athletes, and have a great day, Bobcats. Back to you, studio. Now we get a break from the snow and harsh temperatures. Texas weather is finally warming up just a tad for the rest of this week. Here's Drake Gentry. Hey Bobcats, I'm Drake Gentry and here's a weather report for the next couple of days. The temperatures are going back up from the snowy weekend, with us staying around the 70s during the day and the 30s during the night. The skies will also be clear for these days. The chances of rain are basically zero. That's all I have for you today. Have a great day, Bobcats. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching this edition of Bobcat TV. See you next time. Have, have a, a great, great day, Bobcats. Bobcats.